Hey guys, it's finally time for the epic fight. Now when we have the new Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the next Nexus phone is going to be the next killer phone. Um, actually, it's the next Nexus killer phone, but uh, is it really the killer phone if we just talk about hardware? Mm, no, no, probably not. So it's time for a comparison. The Galaxy Nexus versus iPhone 4 is versus Samsung Galaxy S2. Here we go. I have the Samsung Galaxy S2 right now, the white version, the European version uses in this picture, but it's time to compare. So if we to start off with operating system obviously the next uh, or the new one galaxy is come with n 4.0 uh we have the samsung galaxy s2 that's where we're at now with like 2.3.5 maybe in 2.3.7 i think but it's still it's android 2.3 uh with samsung's own touch with ui the 4.0 version uh versus ios 5. so interesting thing here is the samsung galaxy s2 gonna get a upgrade to Android 4.0. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe if you hack, but still, will it look good? Because Android 4.0 have three virtual buttons. So, are you gonna have those three virtual buttons and then these uh, three, right, like real buttons, capacitive and physical buttons on the Galaxy S2? You're gonna have like six buttons. It's gonna look weird. So, I'm not sure if it's gonna look that good and sexy. Um, so, if you wanna get the real Android 4.0 experience, you should probably buy the Galaxy Nexus this year because it's probably not gonna have another um, Android 4.0 device coming out this year that kind of sucks uh, but uh, yes and then we have iOS 5 there which is the new version of iOS that just came out here um, the 12th of October actually so still kind of new and everything um, so this display this is very interesting the biggest display is obviously on the Galaxy Nexus 4.65 inch uh, then we have the S2 4.3 inch and then we have the 3.5 very very high ref iOS 5 display with like 330 ppi so uh, first off the biggest one of them have a 1280 uh, or it have a super AMOLED technology if you compare that to the Galaxy S2 it also has super AMOLED but it has super AMOLED plus so uh, an interesting question here is that the Galaxy S2 uh, screen going to look better because they have a plus on the super AMOLED um, or is that Super AMOLED on the Galaxy Nest is going to look better because it's a HD resolution, 1280 times 720, or as they usually say here, 720 times 1280. I'm not so sure, uh, but it, they do have a high resolution, but I'm not sure about the difference between Super AMOLED and Super AMOLED Plus. Uh, and then obviously we have Apple there uh, with the extremely good display with extremely a lot of pixels, more than any one of these. Uh, the height, width and thickness, obviously the biggest one is the Galaxy Nexus and the thinnest is, is the Galaxy S2. And so not, not much to talk about there. And then we have the weight, if you want to have a, a slick device, uh, doesn't weigh that much. Uh, still, the Galaxy S2 is the winner, 116 grams. Uh, the build quality will probably have plastic, I think, on the Galaxy Nexus. Um, but it's have a little more weight, but that's probably just because the screen is bigger and the, the overall you know smartphone is bigger. Uh, but if you like you know the build, if you don't like plastic, it should go with iPhone 4S glass covers. But if you're gonna drop the phone go with an Android device because you're gonna break it. Also the processor is kind of interesting here, uh, everyone is running on the Cortex A9 processor, kind of like, um, but the Android versions are higher clocked and I think the Exynos chipset that the Galaxy S2 is using here is better than the TI OMAP 4460 that the Galaxy Nexus is using. I think that could be the same processor as the Samsung Galaxy Nexus or Samsung Galaxy S is using. I'm not so sure though. Uh, found 12 megabytes of RAM on the iPhone 4S, but it's a smaller screen, so it probably doesn't need it anymore. Versus 1 gigs of RAM on both the Galaxy Nexus and the Galaxy S2. And also, the storage is very interesting. I think you can have up to 64 gigabytes in each of these, uh, but then you need to use an Android versions, the micro SD slot. And yes, there are bigger Android slots now than 32 gigabytes. There are 64 gigabyte micro SD. So, you, if you if you want a lot of memory, you should go to an Android device. Also, the camera here is very very interesting. Also, you can don't, don't have a micro SD slot on a on an iPhone, but still they have a 64 gigabyte option, so you still have a lot of memory there. But if you want more, go go to Android. Bigger micro SD slot than, than 32 gigabytes. The camera is very interesting. I want to see. Um, the camera quality, but I still think that the 8 megapixel camera on the Galaxy S2 is better because it's 8 megapixel, and the iPhone 4S camera is probably better than the 8 megapixel on the Galaxy S2. And then we have the 5 megapixel on the Galaxy Nexus. That's kind of disappointing, but still 1080p, 30 frames per second, all of those things. All of these devices obviously have LED flash. 
Wi-Fi same and then network we're gonna have LTE better speeds on the Galaxy Nexus so if you wanna run with speeds go to Galaxy Nexus the iPhone 4s have a HD DPA and that's also still pretty good uh, up to 14 megabits per second so that's still pretty decent uh, micro USB everyone's using like micro USB 2.0 uh, Bluetooth, uh, Apple's better there with 4.0, but still, how do you use, you can only like use it with uh, headset and stuff like that, with Apple devices, and those kind of suck. Um, availability, uh, so obviously the iPhone 4S and the Galaxy 2 is currently available, uh, but this new one, it's kind of going to come in Europe and in the US in November, November the 10th, or yeah, November the 10th from Verizon. And then worldwide also is going to be sometime in November. Sensors, we have like a accelerometer sensor on both the Galaxy S2 and on the iPhone 4s. Doesn't seem like the the, the Galaxy Nexus have that. Uh, maybe they just don't know if they have that. But uh, quickly a comparison, uh, which one do you think is the badass phone um, so far? I still think the Galaxy S2. Uh, it's better because of the screen. It how big screen. If is the Galaxy S2 would come with a like a. 3.5 inch screen, then I will probably go with iPhone 4s, but now I want to have a bigger screen, better nice, uh, nicer to surf with, uh, then I'm definitely going to go with the Galaxy S2, that's going to be the winner here at least if you ask me, uh, but if you're looking for a much bigger screen, uh, much bigger screen, faster speed, if you are in the LTE area, uh, then you should probably go with the Galaxy Nexus and want to try out, be one of the first guys to try out a uh, full Android 4.0 experience. So, yeah, that's my opinions. What are your opinions? I want to know. So, awesome. Sweet. See. You.